guys, welcome back to another video. This video is basically going to be... Well, it's quite different from my other videos. It's basically about how New Age is affecting the church nowadays. And the clip that I'm about to play will be quite shocking for a lot of you. Because this really shouldn't be in our churches. So anyways, I'll let it play right now. So firstly, for a little backstory to the clip that I recorded in the middle of a church meeting. <laughs> so basically, it was supposed to be a presentation of my niece before the Lord. Um, with my oldest brother. Um, so we went to his church um, today because he wanted to present it as at his church. We go to our own church, um, me and my family. And so we decided to go to his church today, this Sunday. And we did not know what we were getting into, but the first there was the worship at the church, and then there was the kind of like meditation kind of time in which you just like focus on yourself, which firstly a church should not be focusing on really yourself. I mean, you can like focus on how to improve yourself to um, make yourself better you know, but, like, not focus on your mental health that should be more personal, but not really at a church. You can consult your pastor for that personally, but not, like, at a church meeting. Like, there shouldn't be meditation like that, but anyways, there, there was the meditation. Me and my family were confused. We were just, like, looking around, confused. Um, they just told us to close our eyes and just meditate on all our things. And so, yeah, that's basically, like, the whole backstory. And so now analyzing the video, uh, the clip, I should say, obviously one part that really stuck out to me while it was happening is she was saying somewhat like along the lines of get in unity with your thoughts, with your thoughts. That sounds very, very new age, um, but also just like the tone of voice, the kind of music in the background and like, really, it's not the worst part. Uh, there were a lot of worse parts in which she was just talking about energy, vibrations, which I really did not expect. Um, before the actual meditation started, she actually s said that she was in contact with Buddhist monks. So it's just incredible how blatant it is. They just don't try to hide the new age. Because this is just so clearly new age. You can check out Melissa Dowdery. She's a great YouTuber, Christian, who analyzes new age. And she debunks it very well. And if you watch, like, just one of her videos, you'll see that this is so clearly new age. And just so ironic and so wrong. And the funny thing is, uh, my brother had actually presented... A clip of the uh, of one of the church sermons a couple months ago um, and like the the clip just started at the meditation part and I was kind of freaked out when that played I had to tell my brother to stop the clip because of that I just felt uncomfortable because that's just wrong I shouldn't be in a Christian church because that's what they call themselves but that's just not Christian belief and so basically what I want all of you to take from this is just to be careful of these false teachers. They try to appeal to the audience. Um, they just try to appeal with whatever they can. They try to just say what the audience wants to hear. Uh, practices that are just wrong. 
just to attract more people. And for all of you New Agers, um, people who practice New Age, I don't want to shame you or anything like that. But I just want you to analyze, like, why do you think that this is true? Because it has kind of scientific terms like energy, vibrations, it's not even like really that scientific. They just include that to make it sound smart. And for all of you Christians um, who endorse this, who condone this, I just want you to look in the Bible, just one singular verse where it supports this. Sorry, I just hit my table. Where it supports this and where it actually claims that this is true. I would really just, I would be enlightened if you could provide me one verse, one single verse that could prove this true. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fruitful for you. And may God bless you all. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.